2 the equation of the curve is this one okay find the equation of normal to the curve at point this one so we know that when we do gradient dy over dx so this one is actually gradient gradient tangent so which is m gradient which is tangent to the point so we see here this one once normal so we have to use formula m1 times m2 is equal to negative 1 so m2 is equal to negative 1 divided by m1 so what we need to do is that first we have to find dy over dx which is gradient of tangent after that we do this to find what is the gradient of tangent uh, gradient of normal I'm sorry so this one dy of dx y is equal to 2x square minus 5x minus 2 so dy over dx this one is equation to the tangent so 2 times 2 we get 4 so x 2 minus 1 is 1 you don't really need to write 1 so this one minus 5x you just take the constant and 2 becomes 0 okay so we get this one so we know that this one is equation of tangent so we need to know at this point what is the gradient so we know that a is 1 negative 5 this one is x this one is y so when x is equal to 1 dy over dx is equal to 4 1 minus 5 which is equal to 4 minus 5 which is equal to negative 1 so this one is the gradient of tangent we wanted normal right so the gradient of normal is 1 over negative 1 over m1 which is equal to negative 1 divided by negative 1 because your m1 is negative 1 so here we get 1 okay now you know that your gradient is m2 so we know that we can make equation y minus y1 is equal to mx minus x1 so here we know the coordinate of x and y which is a which is 1 negative 5 this one is x1 y1 and then your gradient m is equal to 1 so you just substitute y minus y1 is negative 5 is equal to m is 1 x minus x1 is 1 so y minus minus 5 is y plus 5 is equal to 1 times x is 1x or just x 1 times negative 1 is minus 1 so y is equal to x we bring 5 to the right become negative negative 1 minus 5 we get x minus 6 so this is the equation of normal so the one that differentiate normal and tangent is the gradient so you know this one the formula all right so this one is y is equal to x minus 6 b the normal meets the curve again at point b find the coordinates of b so here we have this one is x square right something like this so maybe we have a point here so normal is something like this so it meets at two points which is this one and this one so basically this one is the intersection of the curve and the this one this one is y is equal to x minus 6 and this one is the equation of the curve so basically we have to do simultaneous equation so here we have this one we have y is equal to x minus 6 and we also have y is equal to 2x square minus 5x minus 2 so we can minus this 2 to eliminate y so 0 is equal to so 2x square so this one is negative 5x minus x we get negative 6x so negative 2 minus negative 6 so negative 2 minus become minus negative 6 become plus 6 right negative 2 plus 6 you get plus 4 so here we have 2x square minus 6x plus 4 is equal to 0 so everything can be divided with 2 minus 3x plus 2 is equal to 0 so this one is actually 2 times 1 this one is negative 3 right? so minus 2 minus 1 is equal to 0 x so x minus 2 is equal to 0, x is equal to 2, x minus 1 is equal to 0, x is equal to 1. So we see here this one, point A is 1, negative 5. So we know that it meets at A, which is 1. So another point must be x is equal to 2. So we need to know what is the coordinate, right? So we can use either this one or this one 
So here when x is equal to 2, I just use number 1. Y is equal to 2 minus 6 which is equal to negative 4. So the coordinate where the point meets again is 2 and negative 4. So maybe this one is the first one and maybe this one is the second one. But you see here this one is positive so it, it might be the other way around. So this one is the first and second but doesn't matter just so that you can see like 2 point meets. So this one is the point which is 2, negative 4. See, subsequently find the coordinates of the midpoint of AB. So we know here that A is 1, negative 5 and B is 2, negative 4. So the midpoint, so the midpoint is x1 plus x2 divided by 2, y1 plus y2 divided by 2. So this one is x1, y1, x2, y2. If you interchange also the same answer because you just add up both and divide by 2. So this one is 1 plus 2 divided. So you see 1 plus 2 divided by 2. And this one is negative 5 plus negative 4 divided by 2. So here we get 3 over 2. This one we get negative 5 plus negative 4. We get negative 9 divided by 2. So here we get 1.5 and negative 4.5. Or you can also leave it like this.